Now, I'd like to discuss another subject. In the previous lesson, we often used the in and out markers in the timeline. And until now, when I wanted to erase these markers, I always used the EDIUS buttons. To be precise, the clear in point and clear out point functions from the set in context menu. These could also be called up via the keyboard commands Alt and I and Alt and O. Now, this is a bit annoying in the sense that we have to use both functions as opposed to one single function to erase both points. But there is a function to do this, and of course, it also has a key command available to call it up. Assuming I am too lazy or the manual is too far away from me, we have a possibility to look up this command directly from within the software. To do this, I will go to the settings menu and call up the user settings here in this subsection. The user settings window opens and the subsection that interests me is the user interface section. I'll click on the plus symbol and I get another subsection called Keyboard Shortcut. And in this section, we get a list that tells us all the keyboard shortcuts that EDIUS offers us, as well as those functions that we can manually define shortcuts for. Right now, what interests me is the function that is for deleting the in and out points simultaneously. And of course, I could just search for it in the list, but I also have the option to avoid this by first of all just looking at the key commands relevant for the section I am working in now, that being the timeline. In so doing, only those commands that are relevant for functions available to me in the timeline are shown, but even that is slightly impractical, as there are many available commands. I'll choose to use the filter function, which allows me to search for the relevant commands. To do this, I will type in a relevant word, such as out for outpoint. And now only functions which contain the word out in the name are shown. And we can see a variety of commands that are linked to out or in point functions are shown. Here, for example, the add cut point and clear audio out point. And next, we have clear in out points. So this is probably the function I am looking for. I'll look at it in more detail and I'll mark it. I can see under assignment that the X key is assigned to this function. In this section we can see if an additional key has to be used, such as the shift or control key. But in our case it appears that the clear in out point function is called up by simply pressing the X key. And so I have found the key command I need. I'll try this out straight away. I can exit this section simply by selecting to cancel. In and out points are there. I'll press the X key on my keyboard and we can see that both the in and out points have been deleted. I'll check this at another position. I'll mark this clip, press the Z key to create an in and out point, and now I'll press the X key once more and the in and out points are removed. So, we have seen both how to remove the in and out points with this very useful function and how we can find a specific key command by checking if there is one in our list of key commands.